Welcome to CCTV. This is Chris Fernald speaking. How's everybody doing out there? Well, that grand intro is the way to go. If it irritated you, good, because I'm, what I'm going to show you irritated me for two days now. Um, it's so surreal, so mind blowing. We're starting out here at nine in the morning. We're going to go to four o'clock in the afternoon, and the sky starts just doing this. Now, since I caught this yesterday, I've seen four other blinking skies different ways. This was pretty extreme. Caught some UFOs. I zoomed in on them. And I'm going to do a, a bunch of uh, freeze frames. So it's about 10 o'clock at night right now. And so Nibiru is on top right there. The dark blue. It moves to the left. Um, this right here is around 4, 4, 4 05, 4 o'clock. And see, it starts just doing that. Now, that's how fast it was actually going. I slow it down, I freeze frame it. What I want to point out on the top, on the top up there is Nibiru. Above the plasma strikes. The plasma is actually like um, magnets pushing off each other. So Nibiru is close enough to push off the earth and do a plasma strike. So, let me add some music to this. Look for the UFO. I think the UFO actually goes through a portal. When I brought the contrast down, you'll see looks like a portal like a stargate like on the tv show the water on the stargate looks like water exactly what it looks like so enjoy the show and i'll talk to you in a minute Right here, it looks like it just dives into the ground or into the ocean. So I did a little contrast on it, and it gives it the effect like it's going through a portal where the plasma strike is happening. Watch. See? I brought the contrast all the way down, and that's what I saw. You tell me.
Now honestly folks, this went on for like about seven or eight minutes straight, maybe longer. Um, just in a one time period like right now. And what you'll notice is um, the, the lower the planet gets, the, the more strikes that happen, or the more frequent. Um, but you can see the planet as it gets lower and lower, it's like squeezing that plasma, it's getting wider. To my understanding, I heard these things can cut a Grand Canyon into the Earth. I hope I'm not around to see that. Pole shift is happening, I believe. Um, some serious times, folks. Serious times. See Nibiru on top? Now, if that's not Nibiru, that could be, you know, Atu's moon. I'm not sure. Um, I'm guessing it's Nibiru because it's dark purple-blue. And it's making the whole sky blue and purple and pink. You know, it, the colors are for unreal. Who needs to use a filter when the, you know, when the sky is giving you this, right? Wow. So, make sure you subscribe. Um, get on Facebook, see for an all channel. On Facebook, see for an all channel. And I notify people to let me know they want to be notified. So keep watching. Now I'm showing you exactly where I'm at down in Mexico. Um, it's like 422 right there. Anyways, look at the right hand corner, 7-Eleven. Is this guy blinking? Real time, folks. I'm just recording what I'm seeing. And I'm telling you right now, if you haven't met Jesus, time to meet him. All you gotta do is confess your sins. Say, Father, forgive me of my sins. God, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart, change my life. This is scary. What I'm seeing is scary. That's all you gotta do. And if someone's around, you say it together. Because I'm telling you right now, this is the last days. Right here. Last days. There you go. Yeah. 